welcome back to Actual English, everyone. I'm Jennifer Clyde. It's great to have you joining me. Well, it's time for lesson three hundred and sixty-seven, and today let's talk about、uh, families, part two: single parent and modern families. I was actually raised by a single parent. My mother was my mom and dad.、Uh, she worked many hours, worked very, very hard to be a mom and a mom and dad. So yes,、um, yeah, I do want to thank her for everything she's done for me.、Um, I'm sure that some of our viewers may have been raised by a single parent. You may be a single parent, which means that you are either the father or the mother of a child or children, and you're raising your child or children. On your own, without anyone's help. Okay, that's I mean spouse. Or let's talk about modern families as well. You know, families have changed a lot. Things have been changing, and things will continue to change, even when it comes to the kinds of family we see around us. So, if you're ready for that, let's begin. It's time for actual talk. Gareth, I am totally addicted to this new show called Modern Family. Oh, do tell! Oh, it's awesome. What's it about? It essentially details the lives of four families, and they're very realistic. So、mm. we have、um, a same gender family.、Mm. We have a family with a massive age gap, which、right. is happening today.、Yep. We have your conventional family with kids.、Um, there's one more, but it's on、mm. the tip of my tongue.、Mm. But it shows reality, and it's kind of it's funny. It's, it's insight. Sure. And that's the society we live in today, right? Yeah, it's the same in Ireland. Big changes: single mums, single dads, and men and women are becoming more empowered. And the stigma of divorce, or you know, these different types of families, is being reduced, which is a great thing, right? I think it's a wonderful thing、mm. because if you stay in a marriage for the wrong reasons, you're unhappy. And I know that when I was a kid, a lot of people did that, and it led to bad things. Absolutely, and equally for the kids as well. I think it can have a massive impact on their、oh. childhood. So it's much better to be to be free, to be happy, and to you know express truth and reality. And I think everyone's a winner in the end. Yeah.、But、I also think that in Korea trends are changing. I think people、yes. are becoming very open-minded about、yes. what a modern family is. Yeah. Yeah. Would you agree? I mean, absolutely. People are realists now. Yeah, absolutely. Least, I think they are. I think it's a fantastic thing. It's a real progression in society, and yeah, it's that's the world we live in. Yeah, <laughs> times are a changing, for better or worse.、Mm. Times are a changing,、mm. but in my own culture, I was pleased to see the changes. And this、yeah. sitcom, I think, plays that role. So sure, you check it out. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Did you enjoy the conversation? Okay, today we had Gareth and Kelly helping us out, and Kelly began by mentioning something about、um, a TV series called Modern Family.、Um, I'm wondering if you caught this because it was actually on cable television in Korea.、Um, you might have, you might not have. Anyhow, she tells us what it is about. So let's take a look together. Now here we go. Kelly says, "Gareth, I am totally addicted to. I am hooked on. I am totally addicted to this new show called Modern Family." So she begins by talking about a TV show called Modern Family. Now Gareth is not really sure what Modern Family is about, so he asks, "What's it about? What is it about? What's it about?" It essentially details. Okay, it tells you all about. In other words, it details the lives of four families. Okay, so it's four families, and they're very realistic. All right, these families are very realistic. So we have a same gender family. Okay, this may be something new as well. A same gender family. Okay. First of all, she tells us that Modern Family is a TV show, and it's about four families, four different families. Now, one of those families is a same-gender family, meaning,、um, well, the couple in this family, the mother and the dad, usually it's female and male, right? 
the husband and wife. But in this same gender family, we've got two guys, two men that act as mom and dad. So there's a little girl, and she obviously has two dads. They're her parents. So she's talking about that family. Okay. Anyhow, they're very realistic. Here we go. Moving on. We have a family with a massive age gap. Do you remember what massive means? It means huge, big, great. So we're talking about a big age gap. Okay, which is happening today. We have your conventional family with kids. All right, let's take a look at this vocab word here. Conventional. Conventional basically means something that is usual. Something that is considered the standard because、um, it's common or it's been around for a long time. So standard, usual would be some synonyms for conventional. So she's saying we have your conventional family with kids. She's talking about these families in the TV show Modern Family. These families are just. Conventional, the usual families, okay, with children, mom, dad, and children. There's one more, but it's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, now this is an idiomatic expression to be on the tip of one's tongue. If you say that something is on the tip of your tongue, do you have an idea what it means? Okay,、uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say, for example, you and I are at a cafe. And there's music playing. Now, you wonder what the title of the song is. So you ask me, Jen, do you know the title of the song? And I say, Ah, I know the title. Ah,、oh, but I can't remember it right now. Ah,、oh, what was it? What was it? Ah,、oh, I know it, but ah,、uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I would say that in a situation where、um, I want to say something, but I can barely remember it. Okay, I know it, but I can't remember it right now. Okay, it's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, we'll practice that later on. So she says, "There's one more, but it's on the tip of my tongue," meaning she can't remember the title or the name of it right now. But it shows reality, and it's funny. It's insight. Now, an insight is a very accurate or more like a deep understanding of something. Now, if you have an understanding of very complex situations, okay, that is an insight. So she's talking about this other show that's on the tip of her tongue. She says that you know it's、um, it shows reality, it's funny, and it's insight. And that's the society we live in today, right? That's true. That is. The society we live in today. Moving on, Gareth says it's the same in Ireland. All right. Now he briefly talks about how things are in Ireland. Big changes, meaning many changes have been made. Okay. Single moms, single dads, and men and women are becoming more empowered. All right, let's take it up to here. So this is a vocab word. If you say that someone is empowered, you're saying that he or she has the authority to do something, has the power to do something. Okay, in power, in power, have the power to do something. So,、uh, simply put, he's saying that single moms, single dads, men and women are becoming more empowered, meaning they're becoming more powerful. They're able to do many more things than before. Okay, and the stigma of divorce or these different types of families is being reduced. It's going down. Okay, remember we went over stigma a long time ago. Or actually,、uh, quite previously, stigma is what something that's considered a big no-no. Okay, something that is considered to be bad by most people. So he's saying the stigma of divorce. Or these different types of families is being reduced. Okay, so he's saying people don't really think that much about divorce compared to years ago. Okay,、um, they don't really consider it to be so serious. It's not such a big deal anymore. So he says, which is a great thing, right? Moving on, Kelly says, I think that's a wonderful thing. Okay, 
What is she talking about? She's talking about the fact that the stigma, okay, uh, against divorce, how it's reducing. It's great because if you stay in a marriage, meaning if you stayed,、uh, if you stay married for the wrong reasons, you're unhappy. That's true. So we often say. If you're unhappy in your marriage, okay, you should really think about getting a divorce or you know doing something rather than being unhappy. You should stay in a marriage for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. And I know that when I was a kid, a lot of people did that. Did that. Meaning, stayed in a marriage for the wrong reasons, and what happened? It led to bad things. Okay, so staying in a marriage for the wrong reasons eventually led to bad things, meaning it led to bad results. Absolutely, Gareth agrees, and he says, and equally for the kids as well. So equally. For the kids as well, meaning the same goes for the children as well. Not only will the parents, the married couple, have you know、um, a negative end result, the children will also suffer. Okay, I think it can have a massive impact on their childhood, very bad impact, perhaps a negative impact. So it's much better to be free, to be happy. And think,、uh, and I think everyone's a winner in the end. That's true. Some people may say that you know, if you only think about your freedom, if you only think about your happiness, you're being selfish. You should think about your children. You should think about your parents. You should think about this and that. But in the end, you may end up very unhappy in a marriage if you stay in that marriage for all those wrong reasons. So what Gareth is saying, what's most important is for you to feel free and happy. Okay. I also think that in Korea, here we go. Kelly talks about Korea. Trends are changing. Yes, trends are changing. I think people are becoming very open-minded. We've gone over open-minded several times as well, right? The opposite would be closed-minded. Open-minded, you're more acceptable to things. If you're open-minded, you're unprejudiced. Okay,、um, you're not very narrow-minded. You're open to many things. You're cool about things. You're unprejudiced. So she's saying that people, more and more Koreans, are becoming open-minded. They're accepting more things than before. About what a modern family is, would you agree? Gareth agrees. Absolutely, I do agree. People are realists now. What is a realist? A realist would be a type of person that、hmm, accepts the true nature of things, accepts things as they are. Okay, and they try to work with those things.、Um, so, realists. I guess they try to deal with things in a practical way. Okay, they accept the things as they are. They don't try to change things. Realist. We'll go over that later on and check out some synonyms as well. And Garrett says absolutely. It's real progression. Now this is like a gradual development, a gradual change from one thing to another. So he's saying it's real progression. It's a development. It's an advancement in society. Okay, it's a good change. That's the world we live in. Times are a changing. Times are a changing, basically meaning that things are changing. Okay, things around us are changing gradually, continuously. They keep on changing. For better or worse, times are a changing. Okay, she emphasizes this, and Kelly says. For better or worse, oftentimes you might even hear "for better" or "for worse," but the "for" is often taken out as well, and just、uh, "for better or worse" is used. For better or worse, we're basically saying under good circumstances and bad circumstances, good times and bad times, for example. Okay, so for better or worse,、uh, for the good things and the bad things, for. Good situations, bad situations. Times are changing. Things are 
continuously changing. But in my own culture, she talks about her own culture. Now, Kelly is from Canada, right? She says, "I was pleased to see the changes." And this sitcom we're talking about, Modern Family, I think plays that role. So you check it out. And Garrett says, "I sure will." So yeah, it's a very casual TV show.、Um, it's you know fun to watch to kill time, especially. So if you do have the chance to catch it on television, why not do that? Just like Gareth has agreed to do. Okay, let's take a listen to actual talk one more time. Gareth, I am totally addicted to this new show called Modern Family. Oh, do tell! Oh, it's awesome. What's it about? It essentially details the lives of four families, and they're very realistic. So、mm-hmm. we have、um, a same-gender family.、Mm-hmm. We have a family with a massive age gap, which、Great. is happening today.、Yep. We have your conventional family with kids.、Um, there's one more, but it's on、mm-hmm. the tip of my tongue.、Mm-hmm. But it shows reality, and it's kind of it's funny. It's, it's insight. Sure. And that's the society we live in today, right? Yeah, it's the same in Ireland. Big changes: single mums, single dads, and men and women are becoming more empowered. And the stigma of divorce, or you know, these different types of families, is being reduced, which is a great thing, right? I think it's a wonderful thing、mm. because if you stay in a marriage for the wrong reasons, you're unhappy. And I know that when I was a kid, a lot of people did that, and it led to bad things. Absolutely, and equally for the kids as well. I think it can have a massive impact on their、oh. childhood. So it's much better to be to be free, to be happy, and to you know express truth and reality. And I think everyone's a winner in the end. Yeah. I also think that in Korea trends are changing. I think people、yes. are becoming very open-minded about、yes. what a modern family is. Yeah. Yeah. Would you agree? I mean, absolutely. People are realists now. Yeah, absolutely. Least, I think they are. I think it's a fantastic thing. It's a real progression in society, and yeah, it's that's the world we live in. Yeah, <laughs> times are a changing for better or worse.、Mm. Times are a changing,、mm. but in my own culture, I was pleased to see the changes. And this、yeah. sitcom, I think, plays that role. So sure, you check it out. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> Now it's time for actual expressions. Are you ready to go over the vocab words and the idioms and phrases from actual talk? Okay, let's take a look at the first vocab word. It is conventional. So let's check out the vo-、uh, the pronunciation. Here we go. Conventional, conventional. We're talking about something that is typical, or perhaps the standard, the usual. Conventional. What about insight? Here we go. As you see, stress goes on in insight. Insight. We're talking about wisdom, even awareness. So insight is another vocab word worth remembering. Empower. Here we go. Pow. Empower. Entitle. Enable. Legitimize. Enable is a pretty easy synonym, or basically saying to give the authority or the power to do something. Okay, and what about realist? Here we go. Realist, realist. Stress goes right there. Realist. Let's check out some synonyms. Rationalist, pragmatist. Okay, a realist is basically a person who tends to. See things, view things as the way they are, as they are. They don't try to change it. They accept things, or they accept the true nature of things. Okay. What about progression? We're talking about a gradual, gradual advancement or development. So the stress goes right there. Progression, progression. Okay. Movement, breakthrough, evolution. Now moving on to our first pattern for today. Be on the tip of one's tongue. Okay. In today's actual talk, Kelly said,、oh, "It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue," meaning that you know it, but you can barely remember it right now. Okay. Here is a sample sentence. The title of the song is "Right on the Tip of My Tongue." Okay. The title of the song is "Right on the Tip of My Tongue." This is what you would say in a situation where you know the title of the song, but for some reason you can't remember it right now. Okay, it can be the title of a movie, it can be the name of a person, 
It can be the name or title of a TV show. It can be anything that you can't remember right now. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Got it? Okay. Moving on to to be open-minded. You're um yeah accepting things. Okay. You're not closed-minded, but you're open-minded. All right. Here's a sample sentence. John is always open-minded. To new suggestions, so you're willing to consider new ideas, and as I said,、uh, perhaps one simple synonym would be unprejudiced. Be open-minded. One more time, John is always open-minded to new suggestions. Okay, he's willing to accept new suggestions. Moving on to our final one for better or for worse. This means under good. And bad situations, under good or bad circumstances, either way, for better or worse, you should follow your parents' advice. The point is, whether it's good or bad, for better or worse, you should follow your parents' advice. Meaning, well, simply put, listen to your parents. <laughs> Because they're always right, or almost always right. Okay, please do remember these patterns and the vocab words, and practice them more on your own.